And so I'm just going to show you the view. Uh, so there we go. As the camera focuses. Uh, so we're kind of in the in the car park at the front of um, uh, the caravan place. But there's the there's the sea. So that's looking out to the North Sea, which helps. Extend. Hi, it's John Binney here. I just wanted to give you a quick um, update and uh, just have a friendly chat. So I'm here in uh, Sea Houses, which is just the northeast, very northeast tip of England, Northumberland, and we're right down at the sea uh, for the weekend with the family in uh, our little caravan, so it's absolutely lovely to be here. And we came down last night uh, in the dark just after I finished my day job and drove down and so we had this, uh, we're kind of parked in a little um, kind of area of the car park towards the front of the caravan site. And it wasn't much to look at in the dark, but this morning, waking up to the sea view was just magical. It was just like, ah, it's so beautiful. And um, so we've just been for breakfast and uh, I'm looking after uh, Patch the, the dog for a few minutes while uh, my wife uh, and the kids are swimming. And then we're gonna go for like a day trip. So we're gonna go for walks down the beaches here are just stunning and um, we're gonna uh, go to the amusements and like get fish and chips and just yeah have have a great great time um so yeah i really feel uh blessed right now and uh, really you know appreciative of uh the life um uh, myself and my my family have and although i have a really hard uh, day job and you know work very hard and, and long hours uh just so blessed that um you get to also enjoy uh, weekends and, and spending time together and we love that as part of being uh, in a caravan It's just the fact that we can all be together like being in the same place and being close and we play games and board games and watch like family movies and um, my, my kids are 10 and 13 so they get to enjoy doing lots of different things um, and they're an age where it, sometimes it's hard to like keep connected to uh, especially a 13 year old um, and so just having that time together, uh, you know, treating each other like uh, equals and, and being, you know, loving humans to each other and uh, just being close to each other. Like it's definitely a test of any relationship being like in a, in a close uh, quarters. Um, but yeah, we're, we're really lucky to have both a very loving family and the ability to, um, to do this and to come away. Um, so I also wanted to give a quick update on uh, a little, little bit. Uh, I won't talk much about music in this in this video, but uh, m more about uh, a bit of an update from my side. So um, today, uh, I, so I didn't actually bring my guitar uh, on um, this weekend trip. So instead, what I've done is um, I wrote an extra song yesterday. So sometimes I do do like write extra songs and then I can store them up. I currently noticed I have three other songs in addition to today's songs. So I should really like clear those out and share them. They're not doing any. Uh, anything for the world just sat being silent on on YouTube, so I should uh, make them uh, public. Um, so I'll probably at least add one or two more over the weekend, um, and I'll do a video today, like of, of just walking around. But uh, what main thing I wanted to share was uh, my meditation. So every morning I go through meditation, and uh, and, and let me know if you'd be interested in me doing a, a guided meditation. Um, if you'd find it, uh, it, it interesting, I certainly do uh, a lot of visualization work and, and breathing work, um, but everyone meditates differently. There's no right way, right? So, um, so yeah, I, I'd be happy to do that uh, if, if it helped others. Um, in terms of, uh, yeah, today's meditation. So I, I meditated for the first time in this caravan. I have done it previously. We had a, another caravan for about four weeks. Um, and then we swapped it for this one, which is just a slightly different layout. Uh, but anyway, it was the first time I'm meditating. Wow, it's so peaceful. I mean, right, right down here, you, you can't see it at the camera at the moment, but I'll, I'll add a view, which is uh, just a stunning sea view. But yeah, I uh, sat on the floor here and I meditated. And um, what came through for me was, I think it was partly like connecting into the location. So once I kind of grounded and went down into the, the core of Mother Earth, and uh, I just had this like immediate visualization of this huge expanse. And usually, expanses for me are like voids um and this time it wasn't it was very much like a it's like seeing like a beautiful green uh, and blue and uh like flourishing um planet uh with no like civilization civilization if i can say the word uh, more just about seeing um 
really the opportunity and the the ability like this kind of this this big blank empty but beautiful template for us to to fill um and so the the message i was getting was like you know fill fill this world with with your love you know connect into the ground connect into the environment and then breathe your love into this into this world um and then like i've seen in, in quite a few other meditations and uh, uh you'll see it in some of my music videos is um you know, people uh connecting so it's like connecting with other uh souls so we were standing hand in hand uh, like a huge not quite a circle maybe like a semicircle uh, and we we're all facing out to see together uh, we stood hand in hand and we shared love out through our hearts so up from the ground um, through the galactic sun and through our own sun and into our hearts and then like <laughs> kind of like uh, care bears um, like blasting out love uh, from our hearts and so this would start to fill the uh, not not the void the expanse so like building on the beautiful um, mother earth that we see and I also received this this uh, this kind of visualization and, and message about um, this the, the infinite wheel, the infinite nature of uh, if I can draw it right, uh, looking at the camera, um, this infinite nature of love. So whatever you give out, you receive. And so there's this massive, like overwhelming feeling of like giving out love and then it coming back to you, coming back through you. And I had this great message which was um, every. With every breath, breathe love. With every breath, add love. And so when you breathe in, like you open your heart and you breathe in love into your into your body. And then as you do so, you like add your love from around you and then you breathe out. And so every time you're breathing in, you're receiving love and you're adding your own. And then as you breathe out, you're releasing even more love. And like I was given the visualization of like riding a bike so as you're as you're pedal faster and the more love you give like the faster you go so the more the more love you you receive um so that was absolutely beautiful and so usually i i would like write a song about this i wouldn't just sit in front of the camera and explain it but um uh, yeah that's what i i i do every day i go through these meditations and i write a song about it um because i think i really struggle for uh, inspiration um, sometimes I write songs like subsequent song, songs after that and for the first time yesterday I asked for like two uh, like uh, messages to come through and so I wrote two songs uh, both the flames of love and then today's song which will be um, uh, learn so so yeah that's really exciting um, so I don't want to keep you guys on for, for too long but uh, yeah part of me doing this is like my uh, I don't usually do New Year's resolutions but I know they can happen at any time um, but I want to share more, I want to talk more. Uh, I get super nervous um, and actually just meditating and being out of my uh, kind of home environment or office environment is, makes me feel much more relaxed talking to you. I feel like you're sat here with me uh, in my caravan uh, chatting away and um, and yeah I just feel like I want to share more. I guess I've always had a fear that people wouldn't find me uh, interesting in the virtual world although i don't have that fear in the in the physical world so i don't really know why i i, I have this but i'm i'm letting that go i'm letting that fear go i hereby release you thank you for your cautionary tale but i am uh letting you go and this year and onwards i will share a lot more and so yeah i just want to say uh really finish off by saying a massive thank you to to everybody um i say thank you a lot and i am like genuinely grateful and I won't stop saying it and I won't stop appreciating all the kind comments and the views and and just I know not everyone gets to comment and not everyone gets the time to uh, to, to to talk um, or even watch all my uh, songs but I but I feel it you know I feel you there with me I feel the um, I feel the fact that uh, people are connecting sometimes when I write in fact more increasingly in my studio I feel like I feel like there's an audience uh, in the kind of the etheric uh, realms uh, sat all around me or stood all around me uh, and that's beautiful and sometimes I get like little tingles on the top of my head like hey we're here we're listening um, so it shivers down my spine um, so I absolutely love that and uh, you know any any uh, being with uh, great intentions and uh, with love are, are always welcome um, 
And so, yeah, I just wanted to wish you all an amazing 2020. I think we're off to a great start. It's going to be such a magical time. And I want to try so many more magical things. Uh, these last couple of years have been absolutely amazing. And I want to do more and more and more, share more love, raise more love vibrations. And I'm so happy and so appreciative, appreciative of you joining me on this journey. So thank you so much. And I wish you an amazing day. And I hope this video helped you raise your love vibrations. And if you'd like more like this, please let me know. I love to share more uh, and so from my heart to yours I am sending all my love from today uh, England here in Sea Houses.